What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We are excited to share with you the bourbon haul from our recent trip to Texas. When I say our, I mean me all alone. I'm sorry. It was a long and grueling drive, 15 hours, both ways. Without stopping. For some reason, on the way back, I decided to go straight through 15 hours after already working, so I was up for 24 hours. But, gotta get back home. Back home to the fam. First stop on this trip was Des Moines, Iowa. Now I didn't stop there for anything other than to just hit a couple stores on the way through to Dallas. And one of the first spots we stopped at. Now, we've seen this bottle several times in uh, stores up here in Minnesota, but not this version of it. And we've always wondered, I wonder what this is gonna be like, I wonder what it's like. It's from Buffalo Trace. Um, but I had always heard that this version of it was the one to get. And that is Very Old Barton. This is the 100 proof variant. And it's very cheap, right? 17 bucks. <laughs> So I'm a little nervous, to be honest, to try it. Just, wow. Based on what we typically lean towards. This but. is the uh, this is the neck pour. So, Ooh. did I fire some at you? <laughs> this may uh, this may need another chance. Oh, I see. To kind of later on down the road. Yeah. So that's the uh, first bottle up. there. Very old Barton. But the 100 proof, so this one is the white label. That's what uh, differentiates the two. The other one's just full uh, gold. gold. Top and bottom, below this. This one is white. 100 proof, crafted. Distilled at Barton Distillery in Bardstown, Kentucky. Uh, it's not bad on the nose. I mean, it's got some familiar scents on the nose. Yep, it sure does. Some baking spices. A Fruity. Fruit and caramel. Wow, it's not bad. No, it's really not. I see why people like it. Caramel for sure. Yeah. Maybe a slight hint of vanilla. Mm-hmm. What do you think? <laughs> oh man. Oh man. It's meh? It's not. I mean, for $17? 17 bucks. We've tried some that were in the 50s that weren't as good. It has a little, the, the finish pretty, for me is a little. Pretty okay. Yeah, a little much. A little sour for me on the finish too, which isn't my favorite. It's got a nice slight hug, nothing crazy, but mm -hmm. just the slightest little hug on the way down. Yeah. Wow. For 17 bucks, I mean, you can't go wrong. This is no, it's... a good $17 bourbon. Mm -hmm. It's uh, probably a decent mixer. Yeah, it would make a good... It's got some good caramel in it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you could sip this. I would, I would be curious to see what happens as this bottle opens up a little more. Maybe we give it another chance in the future. Maybe it needs to sit in the glass for a little bit longer before you sip on it. But again, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm, I'm very had, surprised. We've just had, obviously, a lot better stuff. But I'm wondering if it would open up and if things would kind of come out of it a little bit more. Yeah. For the hype that everybody gives this hype for um, this bottle, everybody's saying it's really, really good. It's pretty it good. It is good. Yeah. Especially for 17 bucks. I want to see what it does when it opens up. Yeah. Nextly, uh, I got that bottle. This one? At the same store, yeah. And that was the uh, recently released. The old Traveler. Yep. The new Traveler. <laughs> That's right. Recently released in collaboration with uh, <laughs> Buffalo Trace and Chris Stapleton. We tried it. You should check out the video. It's probably, we can link it around here somewhere. You guys could click on that. It is, uh, it's good whiskey. It was good. Just, I mean, uh, 
didn't like the price. Yeah. 40 bucks for that. Oh, my B. Just 40 bucks for that, I just, uh... Yeah. Maybe not. It was okay. So that's that. This guy. was in another video, so you yep. can watch that. You can watch that, you can get our tasting notes for that. Yeah. Uh, different store in Des Moines, I found this bad boy. The Ben Holiday Rickhouse Proof. We have the Ben Holiday. Mm -hmm. This is its stronger brother. <laughs> Are they all red wheat? This one is not. Okay. No. I, I wasn't sure, because the other ones are, right? The uh, the soft red wheat is... I don't know what the mash bill is on this bad boy, actually. But this is a Missouri straight bourbon whiskey. I mentioned this in a video earlier, but I just learned that straight means that it's all from one distillery. Oh, I did not know that. In one state. Where if it cool. doesn't have the designation of straight, then it could be a blend of barrels from other distilleries and or other states. Wow. Rick House proof. So what what does that mean? That's just their way of kind of putting like a barrel strength or barrel proof okay. or something like full Same proof thing. or something like that. It's not full proof. We learned that that's not the case. That's the only designation that's different. Okay. And if we take this back to Iowa and recycle it, we'll get five cents. Come on. Can't beat that. Come on, Iowa. That's awesome. So Let's we should try probably it. give it a try. Yeah, I'm excited. I was I was pleasantly surprised how much we liked some of the other Ben holidays. Yeah. This one comes in at 120.1 proof. I'm here for that. And it's coming from 5% from floor 5. Four per, or 22% from floor four, 58% from floor three, 15% from floor two, and this is from warehouse C. Mm -hmm. If anybody cares about that stuff, there it is for you. It was uh, distilled in the fall of 2016 and bottled August 1st, 2023, giving it a six year age That's and nice. a new chart. Oak barrel. It's a nice, uh, nice age. <laughs> what are you getting? Um, it's nice. It's sweet. I get some fruit, like a lot of fruit, oh, maybe yeah. some cherry. There's even an interesting little musty note. Yeah. Like if I'm in a musty basement. I don't know if I got that, but I'll have to try again and see. Oh but... yeah, it's musty. Musty. Yeah. Give it a try. A little bit of must. No, I guess that. See that. Musty basement. To me, it's more of like the, like I said before, I get like the cement kind of like. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. I don't know maybe where. Maybe your cement is must. Yeah. A little bit of concrete, mm -hmm. musty basement. Mm -hmm. Like think of your grandma's. <laughs> musty no, basement. No, I don't want to think of that. <laughs> your grandma's. I like it. I like it on the Musty basement. I mean, I like the heat. I like that you can you can tell it's gonna be it's gonna be hot. Try it out. Let us know what you think. Yeah, it's a zinger. I like it. Yeah. That is one spicy pickle. Yeah. But in such a good way. Yeah, it's like this. It's like a cinnamon spice. Cinnamon spice on the tongue. And you've got that caramel right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. The finish kind of falls off though. Like there's not a ton yeah. towards the back. No. There's still the heat there and like the, the, the front tingling on the tongue. Front of the palate, boom, tingles right out of the right out of the gate. That peppery kind of uh tingle. Uh cinnamon and then caramel on the front. A little bit of vanilla towards the middle, but then the finish just kinda of falls off. I don't know. I like I it. I like it. Yeah, it's I good. Think it's, it's good stuff. I think it's really good. Especially if you like a more proofy, hot bourbon when you're when you're sipping. Like it's it's all it's all up in here. It's all the things you want yeah. if you want a Kentucky hug. Yes. There it is for I you. I like those. Last but not least. There it is. 
Another amber on a finish. Mm -hmm. This is the Red Line Whiskey Co. Elements. And it is the straight bourbon whiskey finished in Amberana oak barrels. Coming in at 101.3. Did you want to try this? Uh, yes. We Let's did try. this in a blind earlier with our friend Jeff. And this one actually won for him. Yeah. For me, it was the RD1. Oh, I forgot this one was in that blind. Yep. Okay. And uh, I really... This one was second for me. Get ready. Yes. We've really been uh, enjoying the Amberana. It is, for us, very tasty. Like we've said in other videos, it's kind of a polarizing flavor for yeah, people. not for everybody. Which is fine, yeah. to each their own. For us, we've come to dig it. Uh, this is non-chill filtered. It has 75% corn, 21% rye, and 4% malted barley. Yeah, I what can definitely these guys tell. I can smell the rye. Paducah? Paducah, Kentucky? Wow. I think that's how you say it. You'll have to let me know if I'm wrong. Mm. That. It's good. It definitely has it's a little different on the nose than like the barrel yep. one and the RD one. I can't, I don't know if it's, maybe I'm getting a little bit more of like the ethanol on the nose, which is my favorite. Of course, yeah, there's cinnamon the for bread. sure. This one's more like a cinnamon bread, I, not necessarily like the cinnamon, uh, like cinnamon, cinnamon. I was getting like cinnamon toast crunch. Yep, yeah. Like cereal. Yep, bread for cosmo. sure. Are you getting an, a high ethanol kind there of There is a little bit more, but again, it could is be because the it's the neck pour that we might not be getting more of the actual like flavors coming up. Okay. And we haven't given it time to sit in the glass and all those good things. It's not like, I mean, I've definitely had smelt worse. It's, uh, yeah, it's a tasty one. It's a tasty one on the nose if you like Cinnamon Toast Crunch or just Cinnamon Toast, which I'm a big Ooh. fan. That's interesting. That Ooh. one's another. Wow. It's not like spicy, but it's it's like a little bit of a shock wave when you first when you first sip it. This one's got a little more. It's got an interesting blend of oak, mm -hmm. cinnamon, and um, the bread. Like the rye spice, yeah, yeah the, the rye, rye bread because yeah. it's a higher rye. And this one was coming in at what did I say? Twenty one percent rye. So that's a pretty high. Rye mash bill. What's the like? What's the barrel? Does, that one's I don't not know rye that one at all. Gives us, that Is one it? doesn't give us a mash bill in that one. Oh okay. I don't believe. A blend of straight bourbon whiskeys. So, wow. two mash bills with different char levels. It says. Yeah, so that one's got a little bit more of a blend to it, where this one here. I like it though. I, I kind of like that. It's it's strong. It's a punch. It packs a punch. It has a nice finish on it. Nice cinnamon finish. We got another Amberana finished bourbon on this trip as well. So you'll have to check out the other video for that. We'll have another haul trip. video. It was a really good you trip. You got some really good good finds. I didn't get a ton, but I did get some good stuff that you really can't find up here. Yeah. In Minnesota. Yeah. So, also, yeah, the Traveler, mm -hmm. tough to find up here yet. Everything's slow getting up here. Yeah. RD1 just hit Minneapolis yesterday. So now we finally have the RD1 Amberana. We have the RD1 French Oak cask finish in the, just the regular straight bourbon from RD1. Because where did Jeff get that RD1? Was he that got in? that in, he didn't have one. Oh, I thought he won. He got one. this one in. Oh. He got the red line in Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin, okay. Yep. Yeah. Good stuff, there it is. This was the haul for the first stop of the trip to Texas. We'll have another haul of the uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area. And it was exciting down there too. I wish I could spend a week down there just bopping around. The yeah. Weller is definitely flowing down there. 
There are also incredible museums down there that like to put their bourbons and whiskeys at a high price, but I can't afford it. Some of you might be able but to. But still fun to go see. I love to see it. Nor do we really want to spend. Nope, you know. not there, not there for it. Um, if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button and liking this video, only if you liked it, okay? If you liked it, then hit the like button. It'd be incredible. Also, don't forget to tune in for the rest of this um, bourbon trip that we went on, that I went on, and the haul for that as well. There's gonna be some great videos coming up. Don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? Don't forget. Don't forget. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.